News 4. Watching out for you. Uncovering scams and ripoffs. Questioning wasteful spending. Getting the answers you need. Now, Chris Nagus and News 4 investigates. Man, he's a Can you imagine getting a phone call like that from a debt collector? Well, a St. Louis man did, so I traveled hundreds of miles to confront a company manager about the calls. You bring me back to the days of slavery. Calvin Williams couldn't believe it. A debt collector dropping F-bombs and N-bombs on his voicemail. Can't stand these guys, man. Never pay back the caller claimed to be with National Credit Adjusters based in Hutchison, Kansas. The calls came from a Victor and a Rachel and went beyond foul language. We need to get some type of payment in right now as soon as we can get it or else I would have to send local authorities to your address to see about locking you up. And that's against the law. Debt collectors can't threaten to arrest you. What it is is just straight thuggery. Rufus Tate is Calvin's attorney. He's filed a lawsuit and gave me the recordings, which are not only racist, but threatening. We hope you enjoy your Christmas because this might be the last Christmas for you if you don't even make a payment or even get this debt taken care of. National Credit Adjusters is headquartered on the Kansas Prairie. During a smoke break, I caught up with some of the employees to see if they knew who was behind the calls. Any of you guys know Rachel or Victor? Rachel or Victor? No one? A lot of giggles, but no answers. Hi, sir, how are you? Inside, this guy told me he runs the business office. And I wanted to see if we could talk to somebody with national credit adjusters Not about today. this lawsuit. Well, with this language here, as you can see, that's pretty racially motivated coming from some of the collectors here. I don't know anything about it. You haven't seen this lawsuit? No, and I, I wouldn't have any comment. So I showed him the lawsuit that included the potty mouth quotes and threats from two employees. Does that bother you when you see that? Well, certainly, but I'll have to investigate that. Okay, is there Sorry a way to get a hold trip? of you? Well, is there a way we can get a hold of you? I get your card. Can I get your card? No, I'll give you a call. Back outside, the show was over. The collectors closed the curtains. Someone sent this guy out to check on me. I'm actually the company attorney here, just making sure you were on public property. He told me all questions needed to be directed to another attorney here in St. Louis. I called and never got a call back. National Credit Adjusters is known as a debt buyer, which means they purchase the rights to collect delinquent debts. Calvin took out a $600 payday loan online, but his attorney says there's no agreement or relationship between Calvin and the Kansas company. Do you dispute the debt at this point? The, the, yes, we do. In Arkansas, the attorney general sued National Credit Adjusters. In that state, high interest payday loans are illegal. So is collecting on them. National Credit Adjusters settled the suit by agreeing to cancel the debts. In Missouri, those debts are enforceable and leading to calls like the ones received by Calvin. I can't stand these guys, man. Never pay back. Pretty shocking from a company that's website preaches respect, dignity, and fairness. Again, nobody from National Credit Adjusters called back to dispute the authenticity of the calls or the allegations. Of course, I'll let you know how this lawsuit plays out. If you've got a scam, ripoff, or government waste you want me to check out, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, or email. Chris Nagus, News 4.